This is a statement to put my decision to end my life now into a context. I need to emphasise that I have not taken this decision lightly and I have considered it carefully over the last few years as my condition has gradually deteriorated. I have discussed this decision with my immediate family, although I need to emphasise that at no time did they know how or when I intended to implement this decision. In September last year, Frances Medley, a former head of the Arts Council in Wales, was found dead at her home in the Vale of Glamorgan. She had taken an illegal drug which she'd bought online. An inquest found that the 44-year-old had taken her own life and had planned it meticulously. Frances Medley was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis eight years ago. She recorded this video message just days before her death. Even if the deterioration could be halted now, my body and my life has fallen short of the quality that I would wish to continue live, to live with. I don't want to inflict further pain and suffering on the people I love. And those people who are very close to me said they don't want to see me suffer. The video message was played to the friends and family of Francis at her wake. They've now made it publicly available by posting it on the internet. A close friend believes that since Francis couldn't ask for anyone to help her end her life, as it would have meant them breaking the law, the video message serves as a political statement of intent. Fran had such strong views about what she was doing. Uh, she felt very, um, very passionately about um, the, the, having the choice to end her life in her own way. She felt very sad that uh, legally um, it was necessary that she should be alone to do that. Cases like those of Francis Medley raise some of the most profound ethical, moral and legal questions. Just last month, the families of Paul Lamb and the late Tony Nicholson took their fight to the Supreme Court. They want the law changed so people can be allowed to die with the help of a doctor. But assisting someone to commit suicide remains a serious crime. Many believe that proper end-of-life care can support people facing even the gravest of illnesses. I find it very sad that we're having this debate about whether you change the law to license doctors to supply lethal drugs to people, when we should be having the debate about how do we change the attitude so that everybody gets the care that they need, that they feel that they're in control of. Frances Medley asked not to be judged on her actions, merely to accept her decision to end her life at a time and manner of her own choosing. Her video will further ignite the ongoing debate on assisted suicide and end-of-life care.